What is up guys? Welcome to your seventh video and in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to start teaching you guys about layouts in Qt and I also want to show you guys how to sync widgets together. Now this is a pretty cool technique and what I mean by sync widgets I pretty much mean connect two or more widgets so say you have two completely separate widgets on your screen. Um, we'll just say there are two widgets that displayed a number. What I'm going to show you guys how to do is when you change one of them the other one changes alongside it. It's a really cool technique, really useful. But before we get started with all that, we need to go ahead and include some crap. So the first thing I want to include is a QH box layout. Now what this does is, I'll talk about more about this later on, but anytime you want to lay out things on your screen, like the widgets, how they appear in your GUI, a layout helps you determine the size and position of the widgets. Now of course you can go ahead and do this in the design mode manually right here but it's better if we see uh, how this is done in code because it's going to give you a little more understanding and a little more control over your application. So now what I want to do is include something else and again I'll be talking about that more when I actually code it is a Q slider and also a Q spin box. Now these are the two main widgets that we're going to be using. Now what a slider is, let me think of a website where, oh, I can't think of any websites right now, but you know that you can grab that little nub and slide it left and right. Photoshop has this a lot whenever you're like altering values or, or levels or something, but you'll see later on. It's pretty much a slider that you can slide left or right to adjust the value, and a spin box is Oh man, I can't, it's really hard to explain, but it's a little box with a number in it and it has an up and down arrow. And when you click the up button, the value changes by one, then two, then three. And if you click down, it goes two, then one, zero. So that's what a spin box is. And that's what a slider is. And what we're going to be doing is linking these two together and eventually, you know, connecting them and syncing them together where if you change one, the other one changes automatically or automatically, depending on how you say it. So of course I already have the main framework, pretty much uh, the queue application and the return uh, code right there and we already know what that does. So now what I want to do is I want to talk you guys through how this program is going to be put together. Even though I said that we have two main widgets, a slider and a spin box, what we need to do is we need to build another widget and this other widget that we're building is going to be basically the main window. Now inside this main window, that's where we're going to put our other two widgets. So technically there are three widgets, two inside another one, but right now we pretty much have to build the container for the other two widgets. So in order to build the container, put Q widget, and that's what I love about Q, everything like pops up automatically. So let's go ahead and give a name, main window, since this is pretty much the uh, widget that's going to be the main window and in order to create a widget just go ahead and put new Q widget looks pretty good so now what I want to do is we have a window that appears on the screen so now let's just go ahead and give it a title or uh, you know pretty much the title that appears at the top of the window so main window and the function set window title and of course just like before we'll say that this program is how many chicken wings did you see what I just did I accidentally typed how many chicken windows I wasn't even <laughs> oh that's kinda weird that my fingers did that but anyways hmm, interesting but anyways we'll say this program is for people I don't know maybe we're making a program for a pizza place where people can order chicken wings I don't know freaking first thing that popped in my head don't hate guys so this is going to be the main title for the window now what we want to do is now that we built the container that the other widgets can go inside we can go ahead and start building those other widgets which is a slider and a spin box so let's go ahead and build Q spin box and we'll just name this one spinner like the spin lasagna cow and new Q spin box so now do the same thing for slider, Q slider, and of course might as well name just slider to uh, you know kind of go with the flow. New Q slider. 
and let's see if I need to do anything else here okay now in the constructor whenever you build a slider object you need to tell it what type of slider you're going to use now just uh, so I don't confuse any of you guys the type of slider we're going to use is a horizontal slider that pretty much means it slides um, left and right so horizontal there you go basically we're not sliding this thing up and down we're sliding it to the left and right simple enough that's how you build a spinner and a slider so now what we need to do after we build these two things is we need to set a range of values because these are basically two different tools that allows us to change the value of a number so in order to set the range of this just go ahead and put spinner which is two ends not one not three set range and we'll set it how many chicken wings can people order I mean one to 50 I say I mean if you need more than 50 chicken wings then I don't know maybe you should get one of those new diet pills because that is just crazy so now we set the range for the spinner now we have to do the exact same thing for the slider now the reason that I want to do this uh, explicitly is wow first of all I put splider right there that's embarrassing now the reason I want to do this specifically to set the range to the same values is because remember any time that we set a value on the spinner the slider is going to be set to that value so if this one goes from 1 to 70 and this one only goes to 1 to 50 what happens when you slide this one to 70 this one's going to be like whoa 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 I don't have a 70 so that's why we needed to give them the same exact range so that's all uh, the time I have for in this tutorial in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to link these two widgets together and also how to uh, make the layout make it so every widget appears nice and neat on your program.